in intermolecular force of attraction from the stronger to the weakest. Okay, so um, okay, so we have a uh, ion dipole, ion di ion dipole interaction. So um, uh, wait a second, iron dipole, and then we have hydrogen bonding. I will just say H bond, and then we have a uh, dipole dipole interaction. And then we have a uh, this polarization force. Okay, so we are going to um, arrange according to their um, strength. Okay, first of all, for this question, um, I will say that we are looking at the general trend. General trend, because sometimes. If you change the condition a little bit, this order may not be correct. But we are not going to pay attention to that specific uh, example. We are going to look at the general trend. So the general trend show that the ion, uh, the ion dipole is bigger than the uh, stronger than hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is one than the dipole dipole interaction, and the dipole dipole interaction is stronger than the dispersion force. Okay, first of all, we have to look at individual uh, attraction. So, what kind of attraction is it? Iron dipole attraction will be attraction for between iron and the dipole. So, for example, sodium ion and water. Second, hydrogen bonding. We are looking at the attraction force between um, a molecule containing a hydrogen atom bond to something highly electrolytic, and then this hydrogen atom going to interact with another. Uh, atom or another molecule that reaching electrons. Okay, for number three, we have a dipole dipole interaction. So we're looking at a two polar molecule that arise from they have a polar coherent bonding and then they have an overall polar co um, dipole movement. Dipole movement that they have an overall permanent dipole and then interact with each other. And last but not least, the distribution force is that is the most weakest force, huh? as, as you may know. And it's, it, uh, you can find it in any one of the molecules. It arises from the tempor temporary uh, dipole that, due to the uh, uneven distribution at a certain instant uh, of the, in the electron cloud or electron density. And then this temporary, di temporary dipole is going to induce another dipole. And this induced dipole or instantaneous, in 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 instantaneous dipole with uh, the uh, Induced dipole interaction will cause this attraction. All right, so from this case, um, an ion dipole most of the time is uh, stronger because we have a charge interact with a dipole. Because charge always have a stronger uh, electrostatic interaction, so when they inter interact with a dipole, you know, most of the time is stronger. Uh, second, for hydrogen bonding, actually hydrogen bonding kind of special. Uh, if we look at the definition of dipole dipole interaction. Hydrogen pointing is still considered one of the dipole dipole interaction, but it is so strong that it is considered as a separate thing. So for most of the time for hydrogen bonding is always stronger than dipole dipole interaction. And of course dipole dipole interaction will be stronger than dispersion force. Because for dispersion force it all depends on chance. So it doesn't always happen. So when it happens, this interaction is not that strong. So that's that's why it's always weaker. Okay, so um, so I say the solution is correct, and uh, I have no, yeah, I have no problem with the solution. So yeah, we we also have looking at some concept check question. Uh, we are most of the time we are given the different molecule, and then we have to identify the molecule, and then try to figure out which one have a higher boiling point, lower uh, lower boiling point, uh, because they are the direct measurement of the intermolecular force. And then again, if you can identify, okay, do they have an iron dipole, hydrogen bond, dipole dipole dispersion, dispersion force, you should be able to answer that.